All right, we are very pleased to have uh, former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton on the phone with us now. So, um, Madam Secretary, it is uh, the consensus of uh, the experts here on the panel at uh, The Factor that critical mass has been reached and now concrete uh, things have to be taken in a world war situation, mobilization of NATO, um, Congress declaring war. Uh, would you oppose any of that? Well, Bill, first of all, I think it's uh, important to stress uh, that our um, alliance with France is so strong and it, uh, it's terrible that France has faced too much tragedy and violence and we need to stand strongly with them because events like this remind us how vital, vital it is in every way not to abandon them. We need to strengthen our alliances and I include NATO in that. Uh, we've got to do more. Uh, to understand that this is uh, a war uh, against uh, these terrorist groups, the radical jihadist groups. It's a different kind of war. We need to be smart about how we wage it, but we have to be determined that we're going to win it. Absolutely. And that's going to require working with other people. Now, as I you know... After the Paris attack, uh, President Hollande of France wanted to invoke Article 5 of the NATO Charter, which would declare war on the ISIS uh, fanatics and perhaps other jihadists. Um, now I think that is going to come back again. Would you support that? Well, I have long called for NATO to be modernized. Uh, to take on the threat that terrorism poses uh, in Europe, in Middle East, and even in our own country. Uh, so I would be very interested in working to determine how best uh, to do that. Uh, one of my priorities is to uh, launch an intelligence surge. We still do not have enough uh, intelligence cooperation between uh, our agencies and those in other countries, including uh, in Europe, and we need to have a, a focal point. Uh, why why is that? I didn't know that. Why is that happening? Why, well, are, why don't we have the I'll intelligence? Well, I'll tell you, in part, because there has been uh, a reluctance on the part of some of our uh, friends in Europe to be as forthcoming in sharing information, for example, uh, like uh, airline uh, passenger list. I negotiated very hard with the Europeans to get much more information. We've gotten some um, who gives them that, but we don't yet have enough. In fact, in Europe, one of their problems has been, and they better address this, and it affects us too, uh, they don't share enough information even across their borders. So I think that uh, we need strong, tough diplomacy, starting with our friends, uh, to do on a bilateral basis with individual countries, collectively with the EU, with NATO and others, uh, to do everything we need uh, to be prepared to work with each other uh, to ferret out these terrorists and to prevent the future attacks. Now, the Democratic Party has been opposed to using ground troops to go into Raqqa and confront the ISIS terrorists. Um, I think that has to happen. Uh, most military experts agree with me. Where do you stand on that? Well, Bill, I think we should look at the progress we are making against uh, ISIS. Uh, it is a dream of ISIS to uh, pull American ground troops back NATO forces, it would be, not just American, well, NATO forces. Well, but it was, uh, anytime we use NATO, America has to leave. Uh, we were very grateful when our NATO allies came uh, with us into Afghanistan and into other places, but let's not get ourselves. America leaves. And what we've seen, because of American uh, troops, we have about 5,000 uh, in Iraq. We have special uh, forces uh, operating in both Iraq and Syria. Uh, we have been able to get the Iraqis, the Kurds, and others to do a much better job of fighting. In fact, a lot of experts believe that as we take territory back, we are going to be poised for uh, a very important attack on Mosul. As we take territory back from ISIS forces, they will try to engage in other terrorist attacks. Yeah, that's what they're doing now. Right, sure. And that's, but what they're, that's what they're doing now. So we've got to go after their headquarters. We have to keep pushing them into a smaller and smaller territory so that we can take out their leadership, take out their uh, 
infrastructure and do as much as possible to end uh, but don't you think the world at this point, I think two things have to happen. Number one, President Obama has to call a summit meeting of all the Western countries and ISIS has to be the focal point. We all have to join together. And number two, we have to make a statement. And the statement would be, we know they're in Raqqa, we know this is their headquarters, and that headquarters is 35 miles away from the Turkish border, a NATO ally, and we're going to come in and that's not going to be their headquarters anymore. That's what I would do. Well, look, that you know that is in my view uh not the most effective way what is happening now is we are taking territory back in iraq we are squeezing them with inconsistent uh air attacks we have killed a number of their leaders uh assuming we are successful and american military leadership is in the uh hunt on this in mosul uh, we are pushing the Turks. They, are, they have moved far more than uh, they had, and in fact, probably the attack at the Istanbul uh, airport was because the Turks are really cracking down. We are putting together uh, a much more effective coalition. I would uh, intensify those efforts. I have no problem with having a summit. I would include, however, not only NATO allies, We've got great allies in the region who are holding the line for us, places like Jordan, like Israel, others who are really um, on the front lines themselves. Sure. No, I mean, uh, I, I think everybody, every I was, civilized when I, was secretary, when I was secretary, Bill, I started the first ever international group to deal with global terrorism and to bring everybody to the table, uh, places that we know money and fighters come out of and to get them to make more commitments uh, to deal with what they themselves uh, have not stopped within their borders. Right. And I think we've got to elevate this, make it a very high priority, and I would. Madam Secretary, I appreciate your time tonight. Thank you very much for appearing on The Fact, and I hope to see you in person soon. Thanks again. I would look forward to that. Thanks, Bill. Take care. Bye-bye.